Good morning, Valley. Pastor Dave here. It's Saturday morning, April 4th. Uh, I've been hoping to get this uh, uh, good morning message up a little bit sooner this morning. I was trying to sing you a song. I got a brand new microphone that's supposed to sound better, and I plugged it in, and it does sound way better, but it makes a terrible noise about every 20 seconds. So I've been spending the morning frustrating myself with that, uh, so I decided I would just come in here and talk to you and and uh, give it another try on Monday. But uh, uh, I did have some other things that, uh, besides this song I was going to share, I did have some ideas this morning uh, on, on uh, maybe some suggestions for us as we are all taking a lot more walks these days. Um, Here's a passage of scripture from the book of Colossians that uh, maybe doesn't come to your mind about taking a walk, but I'll try to show you a few tips that I have for my walks from these verses. Uh, in Colossians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful, and pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer everyone. So, a lot of us know uh, chapter 4, verse 2. It comes to mind, we hear frequently, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. So there's, there's a command with a couple of uh, qualifiers. Be devoted to praying, be watchful and thankful. And then he goes on, uh, to make a couple prayer requests. And the prayer requests are basically, one, pray that there would be opportunities to share the message of Jesus. And two, pray that when those opportunities arise, that uh, Paul says, pray that when I get an opportunity, I'll be able to use it well and speak clearly in ways that are helpful and understandable. So, Pray for us is the request for an opportunity and for us to have clarity when the opportunity arises. And then he goes on with a couple extra uh, instructions uh, as if the prayer request was for his readers as well. He says, be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. So he's not only praying for opportunities for him, but he's praying that his readers would have opportunities. And he says to them that they should be wise in the way they act toward outsiders and make the most of every opportunity. And then he says, let your conversation always be full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. So there is his... Uh, suggestion that we uh, try to develop a winsome and thoughtful way of talking to other people that is really rooted into what is the best thing for them to hear? What is the best way I could speak that would be a blessing in my conversation with others? So I'm going to go for a walk here and I'm going to try to uh, walk off some of my frustration with that microphone I've been having. And, uh, but I'm not just going to walk. I am going to do the first thing. Verse two, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. I have said this at church lots of times. I used to think that uh, it was uh, watch for things to pray about is kind of what I thought that meant. But the more I uh, grow and the, the older I get, the more I think praying is the thing that makes us watchful. Uh, and praying is the thing that makes us thankful. So, it, it you know, uh, being thankful and watchful leads you to prayer, but being prayerful leads you to being thankful and watchful. They kind of work with each other. 
And so when I go for a walk, I'm going to be prayerful, and that is going to change the way I see the houses and cars and people in my neighborhood. I'm going to be prayerful, and when I see evidence in the yard that there's some uh, maybe little kids living in that house, I'm going to pray for those parents to be good parents and for them to have the wisdom and the help and the the guidance that they need to do their parenting well. Of course, praying that they would uh, know Christ if they don't already. Uh, I'm also going to watch, uh, I can see up the street a little ways, uh, there's a ramp or two on a few houses, so I know that uh, somebody with a disability lives there. I'll pray for them. I don't know them personally, but I know the challenges that come with disability, so I'll pray for them on that. Uh, pray for their caregiver or caregivers. Uh, uh, pray for the elderly, that I can see evidence that uh, this home has elderly people, or sometimes I might see a, a home and say, oh, that's a young family. In other words, I'm going to be prayerful. I'm going to lift up all my neighbors uh, in my uh, walking distance here from my house. And uh, as I am prayerful, I'm going to be thinking, I'm going to be more watchful about the needs of others. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll see someone uh, and have a appropriately social distant confirma uh, conversation with someone, and I'll try to be winsome and thoughtful when I'm speaking to them. And uh, especially now uh, when we are apt to see uh, more people in different ways uh, and it's kind of a difficult time, we need to pray that uh, these would not just be times we get through, but times that present us with uh, special opportunities to uh, be good news and to be a good witness and to be good neighbors. So I hope you can do that today. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to grab, uh, I have a little grabber and a plastic bag. And I'm, if I see litter in my neighborhood, I'm going to gather some of that and throw it away when I get home. Just a nice way to, to uh, make a walk more than a walk. So maybe you can do that too. I've sure seen on our private Facebook page, I've seen some of you coming up with neat ideas, leaving notes in mailboxes, uh, uh, making pictures and bookmarks and things like that. Uh, listen, we're walking around the neighborhood. Let's be watchful. Let's be thankful. Let's be winsome. Let's seize opportunities to uh, be a blessing to our neighborhoods. All right. Uh, tomorrow, church, we're going to be online just like we were last week. Uh, should be good. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday. So we're putting together a, a little video and song so we'll still get the kids doing the Palm Sunday procession. Uh, and then, of course, a whole week of activities, things coming up. So uh, nice weather coming up, too. So uh, hope to see a lot of you online tomorrow. Let's uh, email each other, text, call. Let me know if you have a need. Uh, be a blessing to each other. Think of three or four people in church that you might like to call and encourage sometime over the weekend. All right. Uh, let me pray, and then I'll let you go. Father, thanks for another day. Uh, I pray uh, a prayer of thanks for my neighborhood and pray that you'd help me to be a blessing in this neighborhood. Help me to be thankful and to be watchful and to be always looking for opportunities to be uh, goodness and life and uh, friendship to those around me. And Father, we pray that through our lives that Jesus would be lifted up. It's in his name I pray. Amen. All right. Have a good day. Be the church. See you tomorrow.